Hey guys, it's Eric. Um, back with a video, kind of off the cuff. I don't have sleeves. This could be off the cuff here. Uh, I was just walking around listening to a video of some podcast. They were talking about kind of uh, doomer perspective, I would say. Um, they were definitely pointing out the fact that there's you know no population growth extremely high um employment supply and not enough demand for any of this and um you know kind of teeter-tottering here so i just thought i had to share two secrets um my first one being that this was shared with me um there are no secrets um all a secret is is information that has not been shared with us uh, that we do not know yet so of course there are cohorts and organizations who we don't have to name we kind of know who they are who make secrets out of information that you and i believe we, we have the right to um usually it's being used to create division but that's besides the fact right now um there are no secrets really so uh it's been sort of set up in society to make us think that you know with copyright and with really money involved uh well, using data to make money um which is really just information it's created a situation where they want us to stop sharing information with each other um unless we make money uh that information could be your art that information could be your secrets that information could be you know your um anecdotal life story which i'm sure a lot of us have seen on on tiktok and on youtube right a lot lately um i might say i feel like I predicted some of it, but we're, we're not going to go too far into that right now. Um, cause I'm sure a lot of you might feel like that too, actually. <clears throat> so I'm making this on YouTube just because I'm not super comfortable with that short form content on TikTok, making it myself. I, I never feel like I can divulge and I always feel like I'm forgetting something. So this is going to be a few minute video. It's not too many thing here, but that's the first secret I need to share with you. And the second one does go into what they were talking about in that podcast about um, overpopulation. Because uh, guys, I'm a millennial. I'm 32. Um, born in 1992. Represent, <laughs> and I can tell that. I'm gonna put some music. But I can tell after what life has put me through and what I've had to overcome and work on myself, um, we need to be aware that this has never happened before. I think a lot of times people want us to think that everything is just repetition. And of course, we need to look into history. You know, we can point out overprinting of money hasn't helped us just like in history but it is a different situation every situation has nuance the only person who really knows the future is whoever created the situation to be frank um so let's be clear with that we can never predict every and all nuances here uh, but we can try our best to use our intuition to know what can be done and to know how not to be fooled so i'm really proud of a lot of my fellow millennials and gen z and even you know a lot of boomers um my parents included for learning you know there are elements of consumerism that you cannot just accept and i think i'm i i'll say this i used to be one of these people that used to think you know, growing up more so that, you know, packaging and uh, the environment 
isn't as important as, you know, your job, essentially, right? But I, I do believe that's just half of it. Like, of course, um, we need to be productive and go to work, but we're at this point in history where I don't think a lot of us feel like our jobs are letting us live, right? And that's when we reach this point of frustration for the masses. I mean, it's 2024. It's the year of karma, so I'm told. And <laughs> I mean, if karma on the individual level uh, works any way similar on a grand scale, somebody has something coming to them. Whoever set up the situation... Um, They will be found out, and they will receive judgment, um, not from you or I. It's just bound to happen. It's just bound to happen. Um, we need to work on ourselves. We need to focus on our inner battles. And then um, that greatness will flow outwards. Um, you know, I, I am a Christian. I know that might seem somewhat controversial to some people, but I think having a belief system is helpful for anybody. I don't really expect anyone to believe what I believe, but it helps me to think about things this way. And heaven, okay, so in <clears throat> Christianity, they say <clears throat> we want to bring heaven on earth, right? And really, we know that we go to heaven when we die so that would mean that it's more inside of us to me um, or whatever goes there is inside of us right I don't think heaven is but whatever goes there is inside of us a, a soul a mind a spirit uh, your essence your energy your vibration your Whatever you want to call it, I think that's true, okay? So, I can't tell you what to feel about that, but... Okay, so let's think of that concept of, like, a heaven or an afterlife, right? And leaving here. Um, now, if we're supposed to make heaven on Earth... How can we do that when we're serving, you know, lazy, corrupt, unfair um, people who want to make themselves feel like they're worth more than you or me? But we know they aren't, and we're not talking about, you know, Mr. Jones down the road who has his own dental practice. We're not talking about you know, Bob who flips houses, even. We're talking about corporate, grand scale, massive systems that have been implemented to affect society so that those people reap the benefits. It's hard to go into detail about each nuance, but we know looking at the results that it can't go on the way it's going on people need a place to live um, and that's not controversial that's true okay so people need a place to live and we all know it people aren't making enough money we all know it now these things aren't secret are they so why are they acting like it is why does it seem like someone's trying to make it seem like <clears throat> this isn't true? You know, I have gone through a lot in my life, including, um, you know, major depression, uh, where I, I would say I wasn't seeing things too clearly. But, you know, half of that was sort of perceiving where we are now and seeing it the anticipation of 
of seeing my friends who um, got out of college. You know, a lot of them didn't go into their field, and that's typical, but a lot of them didn't get high-paying jobs, and, like, just as seemed like we were all working to a better level, then we had, um, had to stay home for, let's put it that way, we had to stay inside for a long time, and it changed everything. It changed everything, and that's not a secret. All I see are people sort of repeating things they hear, um, you know, through commercial outlets, I would say. But when you go on TikTok, when you go on YouTube, and you see people talk about their situation, you can tell um, that it's not just you, it's not just me, it's not just our manager, it's not just our supervisor, it's not just our coworker. Nobody is being valued. And here's the second real secret. It's because we're told to value ourselves in the eyes of other people, in the eyes of our employer, in the eyes of our family even, our friends, our acquaintances, people who see us walk down the street. And this is the real source of um, like mental slavery, is thinking that we have to be not ourselves, we need to contort ourselves into a different being when that can never happen. We can do all of this stuff in this physical realm for other people, but your soul will be the same. You will be the same because that's just true. You will still be that person that loves what you love or that you know, can't, can't help but, you know, look at that cute person when they walk down the street, or, you know, you have that skill, but you don't really know why, but you do, and it's not being valued because of money and capitalism and all that jazz. Like, realistically, like, our secrets, our knowledge, the things we know need to be shared. Because not only are we at a point where they aren't valued as much as they should be anyhow, but I believe that's how we make the value now. Um, like me sharing this video. Maybe I didn't put ads on it, but it can sort of tumble and tumble and tumble into this effect that benefits the people who see it and benefits the world that I'm living in with you, right? So to me, that's, I'm not saying I'm doing this to be self-serving, but that's a way to see how sharing secrets can be beneficial to society and yourself. Um, the last thing I do want to say is just go to the gym. Um, I was at the gym really early the other day. I don't usually go in the morning. And there were a lot of older people doing all their stretches, um, doing their workouts. And I was so happy to see that because I guess I didn't really super grow up in a family where older people do that. Um, and I... Well, I do see, like, you know, my parents do things to keep going. They garden, they work um, manual labor, um, walk the dog, things like that. But going to the gym, I just recommend that because it's super easy to, like... I used to be against it and think it was for jocks and stuff because I'm such a nerd. Like, look at this Pokemon and Mario stuff. Um... I used to think people would judge me, um, but yeah, man, I've really been enjoying it. You just put your headphones in, listen to whatever music you like. It's so good for you. Like, if you think about it, like, not for other people, but for you. Okay. It's so good for, like, 
if there are going to be all of these older people passing away and we don't have enough people being born, you and I are going to have to carry things a little bit longer and like going to the gym to make sure my knees are going to last longer will help that. <laughs> it sounds silly, but like I do the thing for my legs where you like push your butt and it's supposed to make your butt bigger, but it also helps my knees. So I've been doing that. Um, as well as some CrossFit for my knees. Because I haven't had the strongest knees growing up, really. But that will help, like, it might sound painful, but if you think about it, we can be one of the most impactful generations to the world. Um, I don't even want to say generations, just groups of people. We can be one of the most impactful uh, voice of history. If we all look within and focus on, like, what do we need to do to make things easier for us long term so that we can help each other and help each other's children and help just help. Um, well, I'll say one more thing I did before I record this. Also see a guy who's... Um, makeup artist on YouTube and he was talking about the packaging. I need to write these people's names down. I always feel so guilty. But he was really cool. He had like this silver, he was Asian I think and he had like this silver eye. And, and, and he was talking about the packaging that the makeup comes in. Which I also agree with like Pokemon cards. The packaging is so unnecessary I'll say like they use it to sell it and it's so unnecessary especially in th this day and age where let's be frank a lot of people do buy things online um, larger purchases that they're planning on you know in advance so it's not like I'm this has to stand out to me on the shelf dude like stop making all this packaging that has like cardboard that's laminated and you can't recycle it and you can't you know, even like fold it and like use it to move dude like let's think about the future and I know what I'm like barking up probably the wrong tree to some of the viewers here because you've probably been saying a lot of this stuff forever right um, and yeah, I've been thinking a lot of it too. Some of it I learned more recently, in the last few years maybe I'd say, and some of it I've thought for a long time. I've thought, you know, people should be able to share their opinions and their knowledge and I would say their gifts without expecting anything in return right like when I play piano for people and I'm always so um how do I put this don't get me wrong because I'm always so thankful and grateful if anyone even listens to to my piano if, if anyone um gives me a little clap or says what they liked about it you know bow thank you but at the same time, a lot of people over my life have told me that it's not smart to keep doing it if I don't make money. And I've made a little bit of money just through streaming, you know. Not much. It, like, pays for the streaming service itself, right? The subscription. But, um... How do I put this? Like, why would we turn our gift into spam? Okay, why are we going to turn our gift into spam? To serve some, like, unseen overlord who has put us all in a situation? When realistically, we could just not put spam in everything. Share it for free and make things better like actually make things 
better around us. Because it might come off as selfish to say you need to look within, you focus within, but like if you don't do that, we can't make the world a better place. We can't I can't point at you, you know, and say that you need to do this because I said so. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying I recommend we all do this because it helped me and I'm someone that I feel like I needed help for a long time and like on a spiritual level on a energy level for some reason I went to a lot of therapy um you know my family helped a lot I've had a lot of friends that helped me and you know we don't have to stay that way we don't have to stay in this perpetual cycle of my life sucks, so I'm going to make sure that no one else like stops feeling the suck. Like When you see someone stop feeling the suck, don't think about Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk because, like I said, they are going to get, they're going to reap what they sowed just like you or I will. Don't think about them, though. Think about your neighbor who's been, you know, paying rent to some landlord for, you know, so many years and finally has enough in this terrible economy to get a house, right? Like, why would we be jealous of them? You and I want to be in that position, and the only way we're going to get there is if we see the good in things, see the good in each other, and help support people, you know, doing better, doing the right thing, whatever that is. Whether it's taking a walk every day, whether it's just slowing down and breathing, or, you know, reading instead of watching TV, or, you know, finding a new community. Like, for me, with this Pokemon thing, I know it's just Pokemon. <laughs> but I like talking with people about it. It helps connect. Oh, we're connecting. So, I don't really think I have anything else to say. I don't really know if that was, like, a secret. It went on for much longer than I meant it to. So, thank you if you're still here. If you'd like to subscribe, I may post... Some other videos like this, I'm not sure I will be um, showing you guys some cards I got in the mail later, so those are cool. Peace out!